Hello, and welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business. Sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is Wednesday, January 4th. It's wonderful to be coming to you and talking to you about a topic that I find extremely exciting and very helpful. So the topic we're going to be discussing today is starting your voiceover business, starting your voiceover career, tips for earning your first $50. I want to talk about this because I think that starting out, and I work with a lot of new people in the voiceover uh, business, that, you know, that first job and those first couple of jobs are probably the most scariest and the most elusive. Getting that first money coming in, that first booking can be such a daunting task. So I want to share three different things that you can do um, in order to get your first $50 and and to the moon and beyond after that, okay? Real quick, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I post a video. And make sure you check out Avio's Journey Elite Academy, the link below. You know, we are doing some incredible things uh, for 2023. It's a great place to learn, start, and grow your voiceover business with an amazing community and all sorts of uh, uh, wonderful opportunities for your business. So let's go ahead and kick this off with the first one. Start small. So what I mean by this is, is that, you know, don't be afraid to work for some lower paying jobs to start. When I first started, I started on ACX um, and doing audiobooks. And there's a lot of audiobooks on ACX that people offer for either royalty share or like $50 per finished hour. And, you know, this isn't a lot of money. Okay. Not a lot of money at all. And it's a lot of, it is a lot of work, but it is a great place to start to get work, to get familiar with doing voiceover and how, you know, to, um, not just deal with clients, but audition, um, edit, edit your work, being able to submit voiceover works, um, you know, being on Fiverr, you're starting on Fiverr and Upwork, sending proposals, putting up gigs, starting small, taking lower paying jobs um, to build your portfolio and improve your skills really will help you to get that $50 quickly. Um, you know, you can get that in one job on ACX, uh, one job on Fiverr, okay? Um, as you grow in the voiceover industry, you will charge more. And there are really great, well-paying jobs. But when you're first starting and you don't have anything, you know, don't um, expect, you know, or, or to, to get some paying job that someone who's been in the industry for 30 years is going to get. Um, you know, you want to get those first that first job out of the way, that first $50. Okay, number two. Network and build relationships. You know, connect with other voiceover artists. Join groups. You know, join the academy or you know other other organizations. Join places where you can meet, be around voice actors because they're going to have opportunities that come their way that they won't necessarily do themselves, and then they can share them with you. But they also can tell you where to go and what to do and answer questions for you. Network and build relationships can be a very powerful tool for you to get that first $50 in your voiceover business and be around uh, people who are making money. You know, I always say, you know, you want to be... Uh, you want to be on a ladder going up where people who are above you going up the ladder, they're going to pull you up with them. All right. I mean, you don't want to be in a place where there is no, no upward movement. No one's doing anything, you know, so join a community network. All right. And, and you'll definitely be able to find work to get that first $50. Okay. And the third thing, this is really important. You need to have some kind of investment into proper equipment. Now, I don't want to say that you have to spend a lot of money. You know, and, and of course, a lot of money is relative to where you are in your situation. But you need to invest something into equipment and your surroundings, your your treatment for your booth or your hobo fort or, you know, your hobo fort, which is what I call my, my what I called my packing blanket and PVC pipe 
booth, um, you know, or your closet or whatever, you want to invest something to have a, a, a good microphone, to have an interface, to have a, com- a good computer, these things that really do matter, plus your good treatment so that, you know, you're not getting sound reflection like crazy and you're not having issues with a lot of background noise. Your editing is up to par. You know, y- you need to invest in this. And I, I think, you know, the number that you need to invest in is not necessarily important as at least quality things. You know, I think that, you know, a microphone, you don't need to spend a thousand dollars on a microphone when you just start. You don't need to do that. You know, you don't even need to spend five or six hundred dollars on a microphone when you first start. You can get a good microphone for a couple hundred dollars, a, a good microphone that'll last you for a while when you're first starting. You know, you can get a good interface for a hundred to two hundred dollars starting out. Right. Most of us have computers, but you need a computer. Right. Um, And headphones, you need some equipment, but the acoustical treatment is important, too. Whether you're using blankets, clothing, pillows from around your house or you're buying acoustical treatment uh, or you're using, um, you know, packing blankets or things like, you know, foam or even um, uh, insulation, whatever you're using, that can be a big uh, help to getting you that first $50 because you're going to need to produce work. Now, you notice that I didn't mention demos. And the reason why I didn't mention demos is because a lot of times, like an ACX, for example, you don't need a demo to get work, to make your first $50. You don't need, and that's why I started with ACX, because I didn't have a demo. I didn't know how to make a demo, and I certainly didn't have certainly didn't have a lot of money to pay for a demo. So, you know, on ACX, it was about you auditioning. Um, and, you know, and I also and remember, too, you don't have to audition for 10 to 12 hour long books. You know, you can audition for one, two, three hour long books. And also, if you're worried about how good you are, use pseudonyms. You don't have to use your real name. You know what I mean? You can. So so there's there's not a worry that you, you don't need to worry that you're going to be also, you know, ostracized down the road. Because someone goes back and listens to your first book that you didn't do too well on, that's okay. Use a pseudonym. It's it's a wonderful blanket of anonymity. All right. So, anyways, I think that these three steps to help you make your first fifty dollars will really, really, really set you up for success. All right. And um, if you you know wonder you know what else you need to do or anything like that, you know we have an amazing plan because uh, just spot I'm like you gotta get in the academy you know Vio's Journey Lead Academy um, but even if it's not the academy and there's other there's other um, academies and places out there too join somewhere where there's going to be people who are doing it and who are making a lot of money who can help you as well all right you guys thank you so much again check out that link below for the academy uh, running a special right now to join thank you so much happy new year again and I'll talk to you soon bye bye